Same swell, similar circuit to watch. You know, kind of All right, this is one I built just in about, so how long did that take? Like 20 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Really single sheet of paper, rolled it with my fingers, sized it around the tube, put a little piece of tape, and then blocked the end. The problem we discovered as, as I was mocked is that um, it doesn't really have any mass. So even if it launches okay, it doesn't uh, really go anywhere. With a lot of pressure, it might get 20 or 30 feet on a good day. And the tape is already starting to give up here from the sudden boost of pressure. So I could pinch it, bring it to more of a wedge shape. So here we go. Ah, blah, 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 blah. And can you add the pressure? To what? Oh, I don't know. Let's let's go to 30, 40, or whatever. 60 pounds. So yeah, give it 60. You have to let's, let go let's blow to it up. Get the oh. read on that. I got you. It's really ghetto and cheap. Yeah. I'm curious to see what That's happens. it. Okay. Right. okay, so I, this should blow up, right? Yes. Well, it's pretty light, so... What well, actually, um... It tried to take our tube. <laughs> to go out? Why did... Oh, because it was stuck. So that's a friction fit, eh? Okay, so now we're back to the uh, nicer one. And notice, this is... This is what happens. It gets chewed up. Every time you, you launch... Reloading it. it well, not, not the reload, oh, not the, the landing. Air hits it. The You're air vacuum it. pulling it tries to unravel it. Huh. And um, so eventually they just get chewed up. There are two things. This tape is so strong that if it gets chewed up, you just keep jamming it on and you'll be fine. It'll rip it all up. It'll push the extra weight to the front. And eventually you'll be left with only the paper that is directly attached to the tape. And it keeps on working. The easier fix for that, really, though, is if you make these tubes um, a significantly larger diameter than this, it's just not a problem. This just kind of gets hard and annoying. Anyway, so there we go. We're gonna go to, um, let's go ahead and jump up to 100 pounds. If I turn that the right way. <coughs> okay, 100 pounds of pressure. Um, now we can daisy chain those tanks, right? Uh, we can, I don't think we're gonna try to daisy chain. We're gonna run three tanks to uh, three different batteries of rocket launchers. Okay. So, um, there, that is, not a hundred. Well, that's showing ninety-ish. Yeah, that's where I, uh, I was running into that. The three separate meters showing three separate things. Well, this one's from Harbor Freight, and I don't trust it. <laughs> so we'll call that one hundred and twenty. Seems to be a recurring theme. All right, Harbor Freight. Three. Two, one. Oh, we lost that one. 120 was a bit too much <laughs> for the tape. Good. For the tape. Did so, you blow it open? Yeah, for sure. Um, so we'll take, we'll recover the rocket and see why. But very often, what the cause is, we've added a lot of weight, and we still only have one layer of tape. So we shall see. Actually, the rocket still appears to be intact. That may have just been too much pressure for it to fly. What happened? It didn't fly? It flew? No, it, it didn't. It flew? It flew erratically. I mean, it didn't go as far as you would have expected with that much pressure. So we'll run it up to, say, the 60 pounds again and see if it flies straight and true. That might just been a weight issue, a fin maybe, but I don't know. That's a little bizarre. Um, weight exceeded terminal velocity and just this massive deceleration at yeah, the start. Yeah, yeah. Killed it. Yeah. So let's, um, so here we go again. This time, you know, I gotta tell you, I actually think it's faster with a bicycle pump than the compressor. It's just a little less. And I also trust the gauge on my bike pump a little more. All right, 60 pounds and three, two, one. Yeah, that's it. We just had too much pressure. So 
even with 120 pounds on that super simple five minute rocket, we're still surviving 120 pound launches and then loading again and doing it at a more reasonable pressure. So um, that rocket is awesome. More weight in the nose would help that rocket. Now based on out. that design, is there sort of a maximum useful pressure? Um, we've run, we, I don't know. That's why I was kind of curious about the 120 pounds because we've run up a similar rocket where you use two layers of tape. When I roll it across the pipe, we do that. Um, we cover it once, which takes two passes. And then we do it again, um, and we've done it with two layers at 150 pounds. And at that point, we just couldn't pump harder with a bicycle pump. So, um, it's but I mean, does 150 pressure. go that much higher than 120, that much higher than 880? Oh, no, no, because the terminal velocity, right, it hits the wind, and it, it slows down, right? That's one of those square laws where, you know, the, the wind resistance... So it's so kind of the optimal target pressure-wise? Pressure yeah. Um, I th it depends um, on, on the, the volume... Weight of the air that you're moving, right? The energy is equal to the pressure times the volume. So uh, with a larger volume, you need But I mean, pressure. say we get in, we make a rocket out of PVC pipe and we put some lead weights in the front and so on and so oh, forth. Oh, like, um, I am, I would recommend against trying that. Okay. However, if you were, as a thought experiment, I would wager that um, you have enough energy, pressure and volume um, that it's not going to significantly matter. I think that um, you'll get much greater, as far as launching it goes, I think it'll launch it at the same initial velocity. Right. And I think um, then you'll just push through the air without slowing down much, which is what you're after, well, right? Well, because you remember and the whist think, whistling football. Right. That's kind of cool. I, I think, um, I th yeah, I think you'll go considerably farther with more weight. So, okay. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you.